Right, welcome back to Brendan Pearson Fitness. So today we're going to be running over something a little bit different, a different style of video. So we're going to be running over a training week for a part-time footballer. So this doesn't just have to be for footballers, it could be for any sort of athlete who has a, a set game day for each week. So for example for football they normally play either a Tuesday or maybe Saturdays, depending on how many games a week. So there's probably not a lot of information out there for like, part-time footballers, maybe for full-time footballers obviously because they've got the professional coaches. So I just thought I'd put a little something together, a few different scenarios, a few little training sessions I'll write up as well so you can drop me a message if you want to have a look at them. So we'll start off, part-time footballers. We'll start off with the example of the game day on a Saturday, so just the one game a week which is just your standard kind of stuff, you won't have the Tuesday games or the Monday games or anything like that. So Saturday games, that's your main focus, that's the priority, that's the thing that you're preparing for throughout the whole week. So we need to consider that when we're trying to set up our week. So we'll start from the game day. So the previous week you play your game on Saturday. Obviously, you sit, for example, you play more than uh, more than 50 minutes. So you play the majority of the game. This is what we would do. So Sunday would be classed as a recovery day. So a recovery day, so you're very fatigued from the night before. The game before, sorry. Um, so things you want to do in here, uh, you want to pretty much get your feet up, relax. Try and go for like a little walk, get a bit of blood through the muscle. So the good thing to do is maybe get on the bike, get a little bit of blood through the muscle. Um, foam rolling, you're going to be quite sore from the day before. Foam rolling, stretching, uh, just get rid of all that lactic acid and all the fatigue kind of build up from the day before. Uh, any other recovery techniques, um, sports massage, uh, saunas, just honestly relaxing, um, but don't completely sit still the whole day, it's probably the worst thing you can do is just completely sit still, so get out, go for a walk, uh, just do some really relaxing kind of um, low intensity activity, so that's a recovery day, no hard training, no nothing, um, the only time that I would say uh, to do something on the Sunday, so if you didn't play, I'll put in brackets, Excuse my handwriting by the way. So if you didn't play, I would suggest doing some sort of additional conditioning, either on the Saturday, I've rubbed that out, either on the Saturday or the Sunday. So it's kind of if you don't play the game, it's kind of on your own back, you need to kind of say, right, I didn't play, depending on how much you want it. I didn't play, so the next day or on the Saturday night, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna do some extra conditioning, whether it be running sprints on the bike, um, can remember, like I said on the bike, row machine, treadmill, anything, just some additional sort of conditioning work just to kind of get a little bit extra volume and catch up to what everybody else who's played the full 90 minutes or played at least 50 minutes of the game. Uh, so if you didn't play, got to change pen in a minute, additional con, additional So there's plenty of things you can do. I know there's a good page on Instagram called, um, I think it's called Red Zone Running. They put a load of running sort of things, uh, running sessions you can do on treadmills, different intensities. Uh, I think they've got it on a slight incline and obviously different progressions. So I think they've got a beginner and a more advanced one. So it's kind of, if you don't play, don't play on that Saturday game. Make sure you're doing your extra conditioning either on the Sunday or preferably on the Saturday, uh, either if it's straight after the game um, and also no going on the piss, but it's on, it's on your own back. So, so we've got the Sunday for the lads who have played, or the girls who have played, recovery on the Saturday, on the Sunday, going into Monday, that's still going to be a little bit of a lighter day in terms of on your legs, so if you, if you are, if you do for some reason train on Monday, it's the majority of lads train on uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, so Monday would just be a light day, but we'll try and focus on some upper body, so depending on your specific goal, I would try and put some upper body, so if you want to put a little bit of size, if you're playing, um, for example, non-league, it's quite physical, you want to put on a little bit of upper body muscle, a little bit of strength to hold off some opposition, so that would just be a basic upper body strength day. Up 
upper body. Uh, so I'm, I put together a little basic program. Um, I'll see if I can leave it in the comment section below. If not, drop me a message and um, I'll get your email and I'll email it over to you. So basic upper body, so it'll just basically be a basic um, push-pull session. So for example, it'll be obviously your warm-up mobility stuff, any sort of prehab stuff that you need to do yourself, do that. And then it would be, for example, a bench press, depending on your goal, if you're more focusing on strength or if you're more focusing on hypertrophy, obviously the rep range would differ. So it would be lower rep ranges if you work with a bit more strength, so between three, five sort of rep range. And then for putting on a little bit more size, a little bit more hypertrophy specific, anything higher than six reps, you kind of look in between six and 15 reps. Uh, so it could be an example of bench press, single arm dumbbell row is a good example. Uh, then we'll be doing a horizontal press, so we've done two verticals. Um, horizontal would be a single arm dumbbell overhead press or double arm, whatever you prefer. Uh, and then a pull up uh, or a chin up, lat pull down, whatever you can do. And always throwing some core stuff at the end, so core is massive for footballers holding off a player. Um, so things like renegade rows, ab wheel rollouts, dead bugs as well. Um, loads of different exercises but like I said I'll put together a little basic program I'll see if I can leave it in the comments below if not um, just drop me a message uh, I'll get back to you and then I'll send it over to you but upper body and then obviously some further recovery stuff so same things form rolling stretching on your legs loosen everything off get on the bike so you can do a little bit more on the bike like 20 minutes um, like steady state so we'll get a bit of a sweat on as well if you want to do that so Tuesday this is, like I said, a week where we don't have a game on the Tuesday, so you, most of the lads will be training at the PM. Training later on at night, so I'll put... Training... PM, so that's your football training at night time. So what I recommend, if it's not a busy part of the season, is to kind of make this day quite a tough day. So the reason we do this on a Tuesday is a lot of studies have shown that this is the best day to do it. So we always say four days minus match day, so one, two, three, four is a perfect day. So you've had two days of recovery from the last game and you've got four days to recover until your game day. So with your training being on the night time, I would recommend getting a, getting up quite early, for example, before work. I know a lot, a lot of the lads will be working. Before work, go in, uh, get in the gym and do it. Decent leg session, so that's gonna run out on me. Um, legs. So, like I said, I'll do the same thing on this one. I'll leave in the comment section if I can uh, an example leg session. So, for this, if you want to be starting off with your mobility work and prehab work, so any injuries you've got, do a little bit of prehab work. So, it might be some balance stuff. It might balance stuff. Sorry, it might be some. Um, Banded work to activate the glutes, some um, like t terminal knee extensions if you've got any knee injuries just to activate the muscles around the knee. Uh, there's loads of things you can do. So mobilise, um, do your prehab, rehab stuff and then always start off with some sort of plyometric or um, something where you're absorbing loads. So it could just be a single leg drop, uh, drop jump or drop hold. Um, Working that, so there's a lot of eccentric moving in football, pushing off, turning, in the same in any sport really. So rugby, for example, same sort of thing. You'd want to be able to be able to absorb load, absorb load, sorry, as well as pushing off and springing and being nice and powerful. So start off with that, um, and then go into a, a single leg. I always try try to keep things single leg when it comes to athletes, just because every movement is single leg. There's the only really time that you would do a uh, double leg is if you were jumping, but even then you're going to be in a staggered stance or you're, not, you're never going to just be, for example, just in a basic squat position. So single leg work, um, rear foot elevated split squats are my favourite, normal split squats, perfect, anything like that. Um, then we'll go into some hamstring work, for example, Nordic curls, RDLs, single leg deadlifts, um, single leg hip thrusts, anything like that. But like I said, I'll put it all into the, into the comments below and give you a little example. So. Uh, so yeah, do that, do your early morning legs, obviously you go to work and then you'll be training at night time with football. Then it comes to Wednesday, Wednesday it would be an off day. 
So yeah, Wednesday would be off just for recovery. Obviously, you've had a tough day on the Tuesday with a double day. Uh, you need plenty of time to recover there. So rest day, same thing if you want to do a recovery session. Same thing, for rolling, uh, soft tissue, stretching, a little bit of a bike. Nice and easy on the Wednesday. And Thursday, same thing, most of the lads will be training, all the ladies on, on the night time for training. I'll change the pen for the next for the next thing because it's running out. But that's not how you spell training. Train. So you train at the PM. So this Thursday session would be again based around upper body. So similar sort of thing for the upper body. Um, with strength, hypertrophy, whatever you want, because you've obviously got that extra little day to recover. Uh, until your game day. So upper body work. And this day as well, you could um, do some additional power work uh, for your legs. So anything that's not going to cause too much muscle damage and too much um, muscle soreness so that you are recovered for the game on Saturday because that is your priority. So that could be things like box jumps, uh, same thing, it could be the single leg um, plyometric work or uh, eccentric work, so practicing landing, jumping and landing. Loads of different things like that. If you are in Olympic lifting, you can do some Olympic lifting on this day. Um, but keep the, the weight relatively low, so the intensity re relatively low, and just go for power. Um, don't really want to overexert your legs or overexert your entire body, so you are sore on the Saturday, you want to kind of keep it at a, a decent level. Uh, again, do your core stuff, do your recovery stuff, do your prehab, rehab stuff, that's a good day to do it on. Um, again, you could do this before your training session if you really wanted to, straight after, say you finish work, straight before training and then go to training or you can do it early in the morning whenever you can um, so I'll put plus sorry the camera cut off there it was cut off after a certain amount of time sorry so carrying on so night day on the Friday so yeah Friday nice and light just like I said simple stuff bit of a bit of a bike if you want you can do a steady run um, just try and do that if you were going to do the light session do it in the morning just so you have at least 24 hours to recover so if your games are example 3 p.m. try and do the session before that uh, but you can still do your form roll and your stretching whatever you want kind of thing throughout the day so that's it pretty much is set up and then obviously it comes to Saturday you've got your game day um, and then on the Saturday try and do your best to stay in uh, I know a lot of lads go out on the drink but it's part of football I guess but Try to do, do your best to recover on the Saturday night. Do your stretching, foam rolling. Um, Epsom salt baths are great as well. Um, if you like the, the ice baths, uh, hot cold treatment, hot baths, cold uh, cold bath, whatever you want. Loads of different techniques. So that's the pretty much the set up for one game a week. Um, like I said, the same thing. I'll try and leave some programs in the comments. Just a basic kind of session. Uh, not typical for anybody so certain people might have injuries and certain certain things and they won't be able to do certain exercises so that's a basic setup for that um, I've also got things on my Instagram so I'll link my Instagram down below um, I've put a few sessions on for football specific leg days so I did it I've put a session on a few weeks ago on that and I also did a upper body specific goalkeeper day uh, so me and another keeper Ian um, we both done that session, so there is one for upper body. So if you are a goalkeeper, you can follow that session. Do it twice a week. Um, but yeah, so we'll go on to if you've got two games a week next. Right, so next up, I'm going to do uh, a week of training for if you have two games a week. So for this example, we'll have a Tuesday game and Saturday game, which is the most typical for any kind of part time football, even full time footballers. So. Like I said, we'll start the start of the week. So you've got your game on the Tuesday. You've played at the weekend. So you've had your your, your game on the Saturday. Uh, recovery day on the Sunday. Like I said, we'll go through that. So Monday, um, depending on your superstitions, a lot of people don't like doing stuff before a game. So instead of having your upper body session on that Monday, I would recommend having it on the Sunday. 
depending on how you feel in terms of recovery. So if you've had a lot, if you've had two games a week for a number of weeks, it might be best to rest um, and kind of recover. So use that as like a recovery session, or maybe just drop the intensity and drop the volume in the in the upper body session. So for example, if you were doing four or three or four sets on each exercise um, and pushing quite close to failure, maybe just drop to two sets just to allow that extra bit of recovery kind of thing. So you aren't pushing yourself. So again on the Sunday, so it could be the Monday or Sunday. So I'll put a little star uh, upper body. And then I'll put a question mark depending because some people do not don't like that um, doing anything day before the game as a superstition. Uh, but if your game is at the night time and you are doing your upper body session in the morning, you do have plenty of time to recover. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem, especially if you'd go in lighter slash lower intensity. So again on these days you can do your rehab, your prehab, recovery techniques, all the same stuff, a little bit of a light bike, uh, cross trainer, any sort of light cardio is fine, uh, just nothing too much that you're going to overexert yourself, because like I said Tuesday is the main focus. So come to the game on Tuesday, obviously play your game Tuesday night, Wednesday is going to be a recovery day again, so it's off slash recovery. Same thing, no recovery techniques, a little bit of a, a light, gentle bike, you don't have to do that. Foam rolling and stretching is going to be the main thing and just kind of relaxing and trying try to give yourself plenty of time to, to rest up for the game on Saturday. So that's done. Thursday, the Thursday day is going to be uh, a similar sort of day to uh, what you would do on a one game a week. So again, you would throw in some upper body. Again, depending on your goal, so if you already feel that like you're quite you've, you're happy with your upper body strength, um, don't worry about it so much. Maybe focus more on core uh, if that's something you want to work on, or focus on your rehab, your prehab work. That why is it horrendous? Uh, slash uh, prehab, um, and then also. You can add in your power stuff again, depending on what you want to do. If you want to do plyometrics, or if you feel comfortable doing Olympic lifting, if you're experienced in it, uh, just with Olympic lifting, be careful. Obviously, you're not going too heavy. Because the last thing you want is to have a silly little injury, especially, for example, a goalkeeper. If you're lifting, and there's a lot of wrist flexion. You don't want to damage your wrist or injure yourself for that game on Saturday. So I'll just put power work. Uh, but nothing too strenuous again, because it's only been the game was on the Tuesday, so nothing like, I'd probably recommend just to keep the intensity very low, same as that, so I'll put that on there as well, so they're both the same, Friday, same thing as the last Friday, so a lighter day, so Friday being a nice light day, um, if you want to do a little bit of a light jog, that's fine. Same thing, try and get it done before 24 hours before the game. So, game's at three o'clock. Try and do your session before three o'clock. Try and get it done before three o'clock, just so you've got that 24 hours to completely recover. Do your prehab, rehab stuff, same sort of thing. A uh, little bit of light core, activation, anything. Just nice and easy, just to, to kind of get your legs going so you, you might be a little bit stiff still from the Tuesday. So getting a little bit of blood pumped around the muscles is probably a good thing. Then it comes to the game on the Saturday, same thing, play on the Saturday. On a game when you've in a week, sorry, when you've got two games a week, try and stay in off the drink if you can. Just because obviously you don't understand how much it stops your recovery, limits your recovery, messes your sleep up, messes your, your muscle recovery, everything. So if you can, stay on the Saturday night, uh, make sure your nutrition's spot on. Uh, I'll go over that in a different video. Um, so recovery at night time. Sunday, day after a game. If you've played obviously the majority of the game, uh, recovery, same thing. Uh, you can do massage, foam roll, bike, steam room, uh, sauna, Epsom salt bath, 
everything you can think of. Uh, and like I start, I said to start with, depending on your superstitions with doing anything the day before the game. Uh, obviously, depending if you've got a game that next Tuesday, uh, you can do your upper body session there. So I'll put the star there. So you can do your upper body session, but you might just have to drop the intensity, drop the volume, um, depending on how you're feeling. You might be too beat up from the game, might be in a tough game the day before, very physical one. So just stick to your recovery stuff. Uh, same thing if you didn't play. So I'll put an arrow. So if you didn't play um, like 50, 60 minutes, uh, you only came on for 20 minutes or you didn't play at all, what I would recommend is doing your con any, any sort of additional conditioning on that Saturday. Um, but again, I wouldn't go 100% blasting yourself as if you would have one game a day, uh, one game a week, sorry. So it would be a similar lighter load. Uh, so I'll put conditioning. So I would either go for a high intensity, low volume approach, like lower volume. So it's kind of a shorter interval stuff. So the session might only take like about 20 minutes. Just that extra little bit after a game. Um, nothing too much. Or you can go for that lower lower intensity, um, higher volume stuff that's a little bit longer. So you that'd probably be a good approach to go because you'd be less so from that. Um, so going for like half an hour jog sort of thing, just to get that extra volume and catch up to the rest of the lads. But depending on what you have the next week, if you do have two games the next week and you are expected to play, then I would probably just leave that and keep your legs nice and fresh. Um, but do your upper body stuff on that on that Sunday if the game's on the Tuesday. Uh, so I'll put a question mark, just depending on the variables. So the next week, for example, you've got the game on the Tuesday, and you know that you're probably going to get majority of the game, um, just leave it, just do your recovery techniques and then a little bit of upper body on the Sunday. Um, so that covers everything in terms of one game a week. If you do did have a, a week where there was no game, um, for example, I know that in professional football they had international breaks, um, non-league level there might just be no game for a week. So you could do, on that Tuesday, you could do your leg session, so that would be your leg day number one. And then for your second day, I would recommend doing it on the Friday. So for example, if the next week, so you had a week off from games, the following week you had a game on the Tuesday, the Friday would be the perfect day because it would be full, um, match day minus four days to do the game. So if there isn't a game on the, on the, on the, on the Saturday, there's no game, no game, legs then, legs on the Friday. That's if you're looking to kind of put in a little bit of more muscle, become more explosive, and then you can also add in some additional conditioning. And you can also do the same. Sorry, that's on the Friday. Uh, oh, well, that is right. I don't know what I'm doing, I'll scrap that. Yeah. On the Friday, sorry. And you could also do a little bit on that uh, Saturday. But if it's been an intense period of games, so you'll probably say you've had um, like eight games, eight games a month, uh, and then you've got that weekend off, make the most of it, and then take the Saturday, Sunday off to fully recover and try and stay off the drink if you can. But I can't, can't promise every lad I'll do that. Uh, so that's pretty much everything for um, part-time footballers. If there's anything that I've feel, you feel like you've missed or any questions, just drop it in the comments. Um, I should link this on Instagram as well, so if people on Instagram just want to comment as well, uh, let us know if there's anything I've missed out in the, any questions. Uh, so that's the pretty much basic setup. So like I said, it doesn't just have to be for footballers. It could be like rugby players, for example, basketball, depending on when you have your game. So... If you do have a game, if your game's on a Sunday instead, then you would just obviously just shift all the days uh, forward one. So you would you would do your, your leg session on the Wednesday instead of the Tuesday and just mix it up. Um, that covers pretty much everything. I'll like I said, I'll leave some basic programs in the comments. Just quickly write something up. Nothing specific to anybody, any individual, just a general sort of I think a start, like um, something that you can 
can follow. If you are interested in specific programs, obviously I offer online coaching, um, nutrition plans, training plans. Um, I also do my one-to-one -one PT stuff if you are local to, um, to where I'm based. So if you are interested, I can obviously help you out. I'd be happy to work with you, try and help you out, especially if you're a footballer, goalkeeper, um, we can set up a specific kind of program for you and it adapt it to whatever you want. Uh, and kind of your goals, uh, your weekly schedule, if you're working as well, so I can fit it around your work as well. So that's just the basic run through. Um, I hope you enjoyed this type of video. I'll try and put some more stuff out like this if you are if you do enjoy it. So let me know in the comments below. Uh, that'd be massively appreciated. Give us a like uh, and subscribe as well. So I'll be trying to put content out as best I can. Yeah, thanks for watching.